Good morning, YouTube. All right, so I'm a little excited today because I have a new addition to the channel. So I'm on my way to go get my boat. <laughs> I have one heck of a drive ahead of me to go get the boat, and I'm not going to bore you with that. All right, so the type of boat that I got last uh, last fall was a, I think it's a late 80s. Uh, to be specific, I think it's a 1989 Bayliner 1600 Capri bow rider with a 1992 force motor now I've been hearing a lot of mixed reviews on force motors if any of you out there know anything about force motors uh, give me your opinion down uh, down below in the comments I would really like to know your opinion I as I said it's it, I don't really know too much about motors all I know is like there's Johnson Merck and Evan Rude I probably said that wrong, but that's all right. Uh, yeah, so those are the common ones that I know that everyone really likes and you always hear good things. Uh, force motors, they don't make them anymore. They were made by Chrysler and then they just stopped. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of the force motors. Hopefully that motor is strong enough to do a little bit of tubing with my kids. Uh, I know they will, f they will love that big time. All right, so I had it stored up north for the for the winter, and yeah, it's time to get it. I want the boat to be a little bit closer to home. I don't want to drive like two and a half hours to go get the boat just to come two and a half hours back down here uh, to let's say go to Lake Ontario and go fishing. Uh, the boat's only ten minutes away from me. Well, about that seven minutes away from me I can go hit up Lake uh, Lake Ontario if I want to Lake Simcoe if I want to Georgian Bay if I want to even Lake Superior Lake Huron you know like uh, all these lakes are really close and the fact that the boat is close to me I can grab it and go wherever I want I am gonna do the drive I'm not gonna bore you with it so we'll see you back in two seconds to see the boat and the new addition to my outdoor odyssey all right see you soon Sorry that I didn't uh, videotape hooking up to the boat. The camera battery actually died. But on my way back, I charged the battery in the truck. And uh, yeah, so we made it down to the storage facility to drop off the boat, which is right there. So I just unhooked. Let's go take a look. Oh man, it's a hot one today. Anyways, there it is. I'm gonna take the boat cover off so I can show you guys the inside of the boat. the boat needs to be clean I'm gonna throw up some pictures the hull oh my goodness the hull was so bad it was super yellow uh, as you can see in the pictures and it came out nice actually and what I used there to clean the hull believe it or not is actually just toilet bowl cleaner just sprayed it on there but the toilet bowl cleaner that I used was uh, Listerine it was the the gel so Really wish I found the liquid. I think the liquid one would have done a lot better. But anyway, so ended up getting the gel. I ended up also buying a weed sprayer. I took the toilet bowl cleaner, uh, threw it inside the, the sprayer and uh, pumped it up with pressure and it actually worked. But as I said, it didn't go on nice. It came, it went on like blotchy. Uh, but I think the spray, I think the liquid would have done a better. So if you guys are looking into cleaning the, your hull for your boat and you're gonna use toilet bowl cleaner, I honestly, I think I'm gonna have to say, 
use the liquid version. And I got this bee that's flying around me. Oh man, <laughs> I gotta move. <laughs> All right, so let me show you the inside. All right, so we are gonna start with the bow of the boat. Um, yep, so everything is stock. I haven't done anything to it yet. As I said, I picked it up. Uh, we got some really nice tie down rope. Uh, coming a little bit further back. Now, I don't know if you guys can, oh, here we go. So I did pick up a trolling motor. Now I did that purpose, uh, purposely for testing. Now, uh, just in case if the motor died or I was stuck in the channel or something or in the marina, I was able to uh, propel myself around the marina and get it back to the, to the launch. But at the same time, it's gonna serve the same purpose for fishing. All right, we have ourselves a radio. That's gonna probably be upgraded. Mm -hmm. Okay, now what I was trying to do here is I took the lid off. I was trying to get this thing off. Uh, it's really stuck in there. You can see like some serious corrosion happening in here. So I'm gonna throw some penetration lube in here. Let it sit for a little bit. Now with the controls and nav lights, they work over here. Now there was originally from the uh, original motor, the ignition button was over here and then the safety emergency thing was over here. So the ignition is over here now. And same thing with the safety. I'm gonna see if I can reroute that from here to uh, back to over here. I like it over here. Uh, maybe, you know what, I might leave this, the kill switch over here, because it's right beside you. And then, like I said, uh, but the ignition, I'll probably reroute it back to over here. This right here, you can see the bulge. The wood is rotten, broken, and just destroyed. Uh, it's supposed to be flat, just like over here. But because of that, uh, the support here actually, that's holding the window actually is dropped. So you can actually lift it. So this has to be redone. I'm going to have to take that all out, get some plywood, treat it uh, for marine purposes, put a couple of layers of fiberglass on the plywood. Probably going to have to put new cushion underneath because it's probably rotten. And then uh, I'm going to salvage the, the vinyl, put it back on, and that way we're gonna have a strong support here for this window. And then uh, there's no gauges on this thing yet. I'm gonna put some gauges, put a nice fish finder right here. Have the fish finder right here, easily accessible. Probably put some of the, the gauges over here and then some switches down over here. It's gonna look nice. This boat is showing its age big time. So all over here, I'm gonna take this whole panel off, take it out, same thing on, uh, on the driver's side over here i'm gonna take this all off uh this is not too bad if you look inside here but uh, the other side is really bad it sags really bad so this one still moves uh, i'm gonna fix that now the one thing it, that it didn't come with and it probably got lost over time is the actual um, snap-on uh, covers uh, there's supposed to be one for the bow then one for the back over here you can see the the snap-on pieces right over here now that's gone uh, the other thing that i'm gonna, definitely going to do is i'm going to get rid of these cushion seats this one's not so bad this one is uh it's there but this one here is the worst now the reason for this one it's uh they were actually getting in and out of the boat so what they would do is uh, they'll go from the dock jump on over here then step on this to get into the boat and over the years of just stepping it, it ripped it Okay, so my thought is taking the whole thing out of here and put a single seat. So this is open. And then the same thing for the driver. I'm thinking about taking that out and put a single seat. But one of the swivel, swivel seats, uh, I saw a couple of nice ones where this would be like this so you can sit low. And then if you want to sit a little bit higher, it actually folds up on top of itself. So you're sitting on it and you're sitting up a little bit higher couple of things that I'm thinking about using for a tow rope but right now there are anchors on the back of the boat that I can use and I have to get a like a Y uh, rope uh, to use that but the other one is there's this special bar that gets mounted to the transom actually to the bracket of the motor so it goes around the motor and you can pull it like that uh, that looks pretty cool the other one is the ski pylon which is that bar that gets mounted right here straight up and then the brackets get mounted to the side over there. Um, really excited about getting it going. All right, so what I got to do is I have to actually put oil in the lower unit over here, tighten up the spark plugs, prime the engine for a run, and try to start it. Hopefully it starts. I have two batteries, 
Uh, that's another thing that I'm gonna be doing. Um, originally, this boat only had one battery, but I wanna put two batteries in here. Uh, basically, one's gonna be for starting the motor and the other one's gonna be for accessories. I am gonna be running a lot of lights. I'm gonna run some nice blue lighting inside, perhaps put some, uh, some blue underwater lights. That is it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. We have lots of ideas and lots of stuff ready to do with the boat. Uh, if you guys have any ideas on what I can do with the boat or any tips, seriously, please help me out, man. I'm going to need it. Uh, throw, throw your ideas in, in the comments down below. Have yourself a good night.